Hi everybody, it's Michelle from Poochie Baby and I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of do a flip through of my faux Hobonichi for the remainder of July and I kind of wanted to go over some changes that I made to my setup. Um, I just added a couple of things and I'm still, I have it in the Filofax Plex which is working out great. Um, I decided to go ahead and put my wallet contents in here so you see my cards here I have some extra gift cards I pulled out my little money pocket from my personal size and stuck it in here with some other notes and I also put my additional cards in this here from an A5 photo holder. So that's different. That's new. I wasn't using the personal size. I had to tote it around in my bag so that I would have my wallet. So today I decided to just go ahead and put everything in here so I can just carry this with me because I found myself wanting to either move back into the personal size or to cut apart this book punch it and put it into an A5 and use an A5 but I really don't want to cut up this book I really really like doing this in the bound planner so I decided to just go ahead and move it in here and of course I may change my mind in a couple of weeks you never know but I still have my pen here which is the friction pen that I use to kind of sketch and draw in case I need to erase I can do that um, let's see, I did add a section in the front for future planning and I have August through July and just wrote in things that I know are going to renew these months or appointments coming up and down here this section is just for tracking for the 12 week year. I'm going to start all over tomorrow starting in August and so I'm writing in my goals here so I have that here and I just coordinated my months with those months up here pink these are pink these will be green those are yellow and I'm gonna give myself a break here I think for next summer and if you're not familiar with the 12-week year you can look that up Google that and I found it very helpful so moving on I had the July index which is my first page for the month and I just indexed all the important information I thought I would need to have um, that I took notes on in the planner and I have my month and I'll go over this in more detail on the August where it's blank and show you how I did that I have my business information with all my social media orders blog and video my weekly spread and once again I'll go over that in more detail my days I started this on July the 14th so it wasn't a full month and just doing my sketching so whatever comes to mind for a particular day here I did get the LG pocket photo and I started using it and I love it I'm using it all the time. You can do so much with it. Here's another weekly spread. More daily sheets. Took a, went to the zoo. More pictures. More pictures. Another weekly spread, and this is actually this week. Here's tonight, it is Thursday night, the last day of the month. And so this, these three days here will actually be in August. And let's see, this was this week. My pictures, my lovely birthday presents for myself. My birthday is in a couple of days. Um, I ended up with an extra sheet because I wanted to make sure to have an index for every month. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this extra page yet for July. I may just do some additional pictures or something for the month that of things that happened in the month of July. So this is ready to go for August for the index. 
and here is the month of August and I had somebody ask me about uh, how I actually set this up so let's see I made sure to leave myself plenty of room on the outside to take the notes that I wanted to have on the entire spread and I'm sorry if this is distracting but I'm using my phone and I usually don't use my phone to make videos um, and I did make a mistake here you see I put July and it supposed to be August so I need to cover that up so I haven't even colored that in because it's a mistake but for each of the I came down three well it's really two and a half because that top one's not a full a full um, row so two and a half and then I used seven by seven squares for the monthly spread so there's five of those five rows of those and it gives me plenty of room to write in what I need for each day um, so I have all my room here to put in the tasks for the month, room here to put in for my online orders, and I just made that level with that line, and I keep one square here to check off when it comes in, two squares to put the date that I ordered, three squares to write in what store I order it from, and I believe this is 12 here to write in what the item is and how much it cost me including shipping what I, the total was that I paid and then this last little section here is the date that I receive it in the mail and of course down here is just the section that I use to write in all my bills for the month and the income for the month and let me show you really quickly how I do that see I just write that all in so the way that I have mine set up, I do have business information on the next page because I do keep track of this and I like having it all together for the same month. Now I thought about cutting the book apart and putting it in an A5 size Filofax. I said, well, I wouldn't need to have this, but I actually like having it all right there where I can open up one page and have it flipped out and see everything I need to see at a glance. Um, so I have all my social media tracking and I just put in a number from 1 to 31 or 30 however many days are in the month what day of the week it is I put that in front of it and across here I just put the things that I am tracking so for instance I have Facebook Instagram Pinterest Google Plus my blog YouTube my website Twitter Etsy Craftsy and Ravelry and then I keep track of AdSense here. So, and then here, the orders. And I have nothing to write in there right now. I'm actually all up to date and everything is mailed out on my orders. Uh, these are blog and video ideas and I'm not done with this yet. I need to move things over from July. And then I moved on to more daily pages. And on my daily pages, I came down three and a half squares. For this line here over here I have three squares over some of them I did three some of them I did four I didn't really pay attention and I didn't really care so much I think it just depended on how large the date was this here is six across and that is the same for all of them for the day of the week this is four across and this is where I write in weather for the day and then just the remainder here I write in a quote for every day and that's it for the daily pages and let me show you the weekly and how I set that up on the weekly I came down three and a half here and I used seven across just like on the monthly spread so I have Monday through Friday on this page and just two squares down for each hour so I have an hour and a half hour and that gave me from 8 in the morning till 10 in the evening and you can number those however you want if you get up at 6 a.m. you can start at 6 a.m. you can extend that out to however late you want it to be I just like that extra space here because I write in meals for the day in this little section here and in this section here I write this way and just jot down notes on the goals that I'm working on for my 12 week year so 
this is Monday through Friday on this side. So this is Saturday and Sunday. So right here I write in possible meals for the week. These are the things that I know I can cook because I have the groceries here already. And that is one, two, three. I believe that's nine squares across. And this is six across here to write in task. And Monday through Sunday here. And this is where I keep track of my tasks for the week and things that are repeating every day that I want to be sure that I'm keeping track of, sort of the DIY fish type of tracking here. And here I just jot in my notes each day. I'll jot in a note for what good happened that day, something good that was positive that happened that day. And that's how I set up my weekly spread. Now I only put in here through September. And here this was the last day of August so here's my September index and I did you see mark them all August was pink this one is yellow and I only wrote in the month for September and I have not finished that I think hopefully by the end of the weekend I'll have September and October in here I didn't want to go too far ahead because I figured I may change my mind on how I want to set it up and I wanted to be sure I liked the way I had the setup done in here before I committed to any more of the book to that. And in the back I still have, well I just have these sticky notes here. It's a post-it notepad that I cut in half. I cut the pages in half just to keep my grocery list and I can just pull it off and stick it on top of my book when I go to the store. So I did do an index and I'm doing my list and collections back here and just keeping track of that here is part of my bullet journal because I do the bullet journaling every day and I just incorporate that into, into the, the planner because I'm trying to use this as my planner. I, I, I have to use everything in one book. I cannot have a separate planner and then another book where I just sketch or draw. I need Everything needs to be in one book and that's what, what was driving me crazy. And I decided to just move it all in here. I haven't really decided how I'm going to, what I'm going to do about all of these pages when I use the book up. I think I will just take a picture of everything and make sure it's stored in Evernote and it's archived and whatever I need to put into a new book I will. I'll just write it over again. And because some things won't need to be moved over and some things will. And that's about it. Oh, um, I did go ahead and put a hairband here so that when it starts getting too floppy, I can just secure that close with the hairband. And nothing else has been added. We just have all these pockets. So I have all of my wallet in here along with my planner. And it's working out great so far. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if there are any links I need to put to anything, I will put them in the description bar. And that's it. Everybody have a great day and have a great August.